almost immediately after the publication of the first video about this violin about two weeks after that that is two and a half years ago I made some improvements it was fine to publish them earlier but I didn't have time first thanks to these two bars this one and this one you see yeah this <laughs> yeah these two bars you we see, we see uh, there is a screw here and there is a screw and here and here such construction yeah so uh, thanks to these two bars the rigidity of the construction has increased significantly and now the sound does not swim so much just a little in the first video uh, you can uh, see what I'm talking about so now it's so just a little but it is acceptable I play on this violin without problem uh, about it now the violin doesn't need to be suspended from the ceiling you can see uh, the first video <laughs> uh, the bars doesn't hinder playing we can see doesn't hinder here so so that's okay to play yeah enough place Uh, secondly, this uh, limiter here, this one, you see, this limiter uh, allows you to play in high positions without touching the resonating box. You see, I don't touch resonating box when I come there. I touch just this limit. And uh, this limiter does not touch resonating box. You can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing uh, touches uh, the resonating box. Just three uh, threads here, here, and here. This one. I explained it this in uh, the first video and bridge of course 
bridge does touch resonating box of course it does and a little later I made another improvement you see that strings are not situated symmetrically uh, why? the fact is that this limiter uh, takes a place about one centimeter and this centimeter hinder when playing in high positions hinder much one centimeter but hinder much and uh, to push it this way uh, uh, the whole resonating box mobile push should be pushed this way also So it is necessary to push the edge of the resonating box this way. Now you see that it is asymmetrically, not symmetrical. Yes. You see that here is more and here is less. You see? And now you see well, yes, not symmetrical. No. So, in this uh, model, this asymmetry is achieved by situating of the threads on the box. You can see that it's difficult to see, but this black one there is thread, and it uh, is not centered. You see this? It is um, here not here, here <laughs> but center is here thread is here and uh, the same here we can see this white one this one a little difficult to see it but we can see a little bit of, of this of it is thread and it is not uh, centered because center is here center is here it's the hole for the bottom but thread is not here but here you see Uh, but I think uh, it would be possible to leave the threads on the box in the center as it was. But uh, on the support, this, everything besides resonating box, we can call it support. So on the support we can uh, situate uh, threads in other places and it will be the same result. Uh, 
then uh, you could use the button this one usual thing you can use it as usual to put it in this hole in this but now I cannot do it because this thing hinder to do it and then uh, you can uh, fix uh, a thread to it as usual but uh, maybe uh, it's better uh, don't to use the button uh, because it uh, has some mass and, and uh, it hinder to resonate the resonating box uh, it prevents uh, the box from resonating and secondly uh, the bottom take place it takes place uh, approximately one centimeter but it means then this thing will come a little bit here one centimeter then you should move violin one centimeter further and then uh, you have to stretch arm one centimeter this way of course it is not good <laughs> one centimeter uh, anyway uh, it uh, should not be a misunderstanding uh, this thread is fixed uh, so, uh, you drill a little hole, but not in this part of violin, or not in this part, not in this, just in this piece of wood, a little bit uh, thick, uh, thicker, uh, more thick than... Uh, this one or this one but not in uh, <laughs> this part of course not uh, so uh, because of uh, the asymmetry uh, the bridge is situated not straightly. Can you see it? It is a little bit uh, this way. Yes, this way. You can see. Yeah, but uh, it is uh, not a big reason uh, to make sound wars. Uh, so for sound it's practically unimportant. In any case, the gain in sound which this system as a whole remains very large. Yeah, one more thing. Uh, the design, though not too heavy, is still heavier than an conventional violin 
so that uh, so that it does not slide down I use this thread such yeah it's better of course to use a tape or a belt to not cut the neck it's like a saxophone belt saxophonists use this strap to hang the saxophone on the neck I can have violin so without hands Perhaps uh, this belt will no longer be necessary if the construction becomes easier. For example, if to use lighter materials. Thank you.